hello everyone welcome to another video in this one i'll just be going over the newest round of changes uh, that are coming in the 10.0.7 patch notes that have gone live on the ptr now just going over what's been changed what's been removed uh, what's been added um, just going over everything that you need to know going into this next patch uh, without further ado let's get right into this one so first up we've got death knight starting with the unholy spec now harbinger of doom now also increases the damage of your next death coil by 20 percent or epidemic by 10 percent pestilent pustules has been removed from the unholy specialization tree defile no longer a choice node with unholy pact and has replaced pestilent pustules within the spec uh, spec tree now any DK mains out there, please let me know what pe uh, Pestulent Pustules is. I'm not too sure um, if if that being removed from the Unholy Tree has any impact on the spec itself. Um, so you have to let me know. Uh, Defile now works with the Pestilence uh, talent. Defile now additionally f uh, now has additional functionality. If an enemy is inside Defile, it grants 1% mastery every second, st stacking up to 8%. That's really nice for Unholy. You know, if you can somehow keep them inside of your, your Defile, you're getting a nice uh, bit of a damage buff right there. Um, Ruptured Viscera now has a 25% chance uh, to apply a festering wound to enemies struck by the explosion. Uh, Ruptured Viscera damage increased by 10%. Uh, Festering Strike now also has a 15% chance to grant Runic Corruption and Commander of the Dead no longer only affects nearby Army of the Dead Ghouls or Summon Gargoyle and should apply to any Summon Ghoul or Gargoyle regardless of their distance from you. So um, it seems like generally they are buffing Unholy a little bit, um, especially this Commander of the Dead buff where there's no range requirement for this now. Um, it applies to all your all your 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 gold or gargoyles regardless of the of the of the, uh, of the distance sorry um so this seems like a very very nice buff to in holy so i think you guys are pretty happy with that uh all around uh, again i'm not i'm not too sure what the pestilent postules is so if you guys can let me know that would be very much appreciated moving on to demon hunter reduce the range that fought off the flame demons can spawn by 20 percent uh, the demon soul generated upon killing a photo of the flame uh, demon will now land in front of it towards the, de the demon hunter whenever possible. Um, okay, I do, I do. Well, demon hunters won't really complain about this too much. Um, it just makes sure that the demon isn't spawning, uh, you know, in 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 uh, Africa uh, from you from you as a demon hunter. You can kill that pretty quickly uh, and grab that soul to get that twenty percent increased damage buff. A, l a little bit sooner. Um, Havoc Blind Fury now increases eye beam damage and duration by 10 slash 20%, was duration only by 25 slash 50. So not only will eye beam be channeling faster now, it will be doing more damage, which is pretty nice for for um, Havoc Demon Hunters, I guess. Uh, improved Fell Rush and the choice node of Desperate Instincts slash Netherwalk have swapped locations in the spec tree. Um, so I think this this one, I believe you'd have to. So Netherwalk is like a is a talent that that's pretty much most demon hunters run by default, and I think that this this being moved around may open up an opportunity for you as a demon hunter to pick up Netherwalk and as well as that. Um, pick up some other damage um, talents that you may not have been able to pick up in the past. So we'll have to see how that kind of works out once the tree um, goes live. Furious Throws and Fell Eruption have swapped locations in the spec tree. And then Vengeance reduced the, the health of Fauna of the Flame Demons by 20%. Druid Balance Stellar Flare now has an additional effect. If dispelled, causes a starburst to crash into the dispeller dealing aoe damage and knocking enemies so i like this for balance uh, it does feel like most casters nowadays do have some sort of dispel protection you know shadow priests have the three second fear when you dispel their vampiric touch um, warlocks have uh, a really really big damage uh, hit on the dispeller when they 
have their UA dispel, their unstable affliction. So it's only right that a spec that does rely so heavily on its dots um, does have some sort of punish for uh, those who choose to dispel it. So I do like this change a lot. Um, resto, this change was reverted whereby natural wisdom is now a baseline effect on innovate for restoration druids no longer increases mana regen, regen by five percent and the additional innovates effectiveness has been reduced to 50 percent was a hundred so give me a second mm, now baseline effect for no increase mana regeneration. okay so they they just reverted this um and made sure that this doesn't go live in the next in the next patch that's absolutely fine um evoker preservation uh how the hell do you say this our 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 Ouroboros. I have no idea if I, if I said that right, but that's what I'm going with. Ouroboros has been redesigned. Casting Echo increases the healing of your next Emerald Blossom by 15%, stacking up to 10 times. Uh, was Emerald Blossom and Dream Breath increase healing of Echo? So, I mean, a buff that can stack up to 10 times on. Um, 15% each time it does sound like a big heal um, in theory but I believe um, the previous design was quite competitive uh, in the sense where it was being picked up a lot by a lot of evokers so I'm not I'm not too sure if this redesigned um, redesigned talent will see too much play we'll have to see what people pick up as time goes on and then fluttering seedlings healing increased by 20% uh, moving on to Hunter, rejuvenation win, Rejuvenating Wind sorry, now also increases the maximum health by 4% per rank. I do like this. Hunters do seem to kind of have a problem with their survivability at the moment. Um, so just helping um, amend that just a little, a little bit by adding that this, this change. And then with Marksman, Steady Focus and Tactical Reload have swapped spots back to their pre-10.0.5 spots. A few talent connections have been adjusted. Um, Monk, Mistweaver, uh, Shoho's Lessons now displays a tracking buff indicating which lesson will be learned on the next Shoulun's Gift Cast. Zen Pulse no longer requires an enemy to be present to be cast. Fix an issue that caused Zen Pulse to not function with in-game mouse over settings. Enveloping Breath now has been renamed to Empowered Celestial. Uh, Empowered Celestial, while active, Yulon and Shiji heal up to six nearby targets with Enveloping Breath when you cast Enveloping Mist, healing over six seconds and increasing the healing that they receive from you by 10%. When activated, Yulon and Shiji apply Chi Cocoons to five targets within 40 yards, absorbing damage for 10 seconds. Um, so this just sounds like uh, a bit of a change to Misweaver where they where you, where they are trying to help them AOE heal a little bit more, which is quite nice. Uh, monks have very uh, well, Misweaver sorry have very good single target healing, um, but maybe when the fight is is when they're against something that is cleave heavy, that's when they kind of struggle to kind of keep up. So I do like this one a little bit. Moving on to Windwalker. Inner Peace's maximum energy bonus increased to 30, was 10. Inner Peace now also increases Tiger Palm damage by 10%. Rising Star now increases Rising Sun Kick's damage by 3-6%, was 5-10. So a slight nerf on Rising Sun Kick damage. I don't think this would be too much of a, of a, of a big deal. Um, Rising Star now increases Rising Sun Kick's critical damage by 6-12%. Twelve percent. Okay, so they 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 nerf the actual damage of Rising Sun Kick, but they buff the critical strike damage of Rising Sun Kick. So that, I think that kind of balances it out and makes up for that that um damage nerf. Um, so that's nice. Uh, Feyline's Harmony damage and healing bonus increased to ten percent. Was eight, which is you know that blue AOE thing that monks do. Um, well, yeah. Windwalkers and Mistweavers both use this, so a bit of a damage buff for both those specs. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, well, not so much for Fistweaver. I don't really like that spec, but hey, what can you do? Paladin. Now, this one is going to be quite meaty. Uh, class 3 pathing has been adjusted. 
moved cleansed up to row two, moved on obduracy up to row two, rebuke and greater judgment moved up a row, fist of justice moved to row four, turn evil moved up to row two, seal of might moved up to row eight, seal of alacrity moved up to row eight, obduracy moved uh moved moved before <laughs> initial eight point gate. Judgment of Light moved below 20 point gate. And uh, moving on to Aspirations of Divinity, seal, seal of Reprisal, and Seal of Clarity removed from the Paladin class tree. Added Face Armor and Strength of Conviction to the class tree. New Talent, Justification, Judgment Damage increased by 10%. I think a lot of Brits will be picking that up. Big, um, nice buff to your Judgment and also your Divine Toll Judgment as well. Um, new talent punishment successfully interrupting an enemy with, with rebuke cast an extra crusader strike not sure I mean it could be it's free damage if you can land your kicks could be good uh, new talent light forge blessing divine storm heals you and up to four nearby allies for five percent of your maximum health just helping re uh, well just paladins in general uh, well red specifically um, with their survivability a little bit which is nice new talent crusaders reprieve reprieve uh, your crusader strike and auto attack range is increased by three yards and using crusader strike heals you for two percent of your maximum health so just helping rets with their uh reach slash mobility uh, making sure that they can kind of hit targets that maybe just slightly out of melee range and also again helping with their survivability new talent face armor Word of Glory grants 20% bonus armor for 4.5 seconds. This could see play into the melee cleaves, which um, there are quite a few of at the moment. So I can see some reps picking this up. Uh, new talent, sanctified plates, armor increased by 20%, stamina increased by 10%, and damage taken from area effects reduced by 10%. I like this a lot. I think this may be a staple in most ret builds. Um, I can't see why you wouldn't take this. It's good into it's good into um, melee cleaves, stamina increase. Who doesn't like that? And AOE's. Uh, why not? <laughs> uh, new talent, strength of conviction. While in your consecration, your shield of righteousness and word of glory have a ten percent per rank increased damage and healing, two ranks. So. At max ranks, this talent will help your Shield of Righteousness and Wall of Glory do 20% more damage and healing. Um, I'm not too sure how how useful, useful that that will be because you have you just have to like cast con you could just cast Consecration just for the heal, um, which is which 20% 20% more healing. Why not? Um, just I mean two globals, one for Consecration and one for the heal. Uh, and also, I'm pretty sure a lot of rest will be playing that. Um, I can't remember what, what it's called, but when you when you um, use your blade of justice, it has a chance to cast a consecration at the target location. So, um, if you get those procs and then use your word of glory, that's a, just a one global combo. So maybe I could see that being being played, possibly. Seal of Might has been adjusted, Mastery increased by 2% per rank, and Strength slash Intellect increased by 2% per rank. Uh, Seal of Alacrity has been adjusted, Haste increased by 2% per rank, and Judgment Cooldown reduced by uh, 0 0.5 seconds per rank with two ranks. Seal of the Crusader has been redesigned, your auto attacks now deal additional holy damage, was your attacks have a chance to cause your target to take 3% Increased holy damage for five seconds. Now I like. I think I like this more. It just bakes this change into your damage rotation by default, without having having it be a debuff, a debuff that kind of falls off after some time. So I do like this a lot. Quickened invocations has been adjusted. Divine tolls cooldown is reduced by fifteen seconds. That is really really big. I uh, now. I've I've watched some videos and I think I believe Paladins will have their wings on a one minute cooldown now. So while this on paper looks good, 
pu uh, pushing pushing divine toll down from one minute to f uh, 45 seconds i don't think it's needed just because you already have everything lining up for a minute cooler anyway so divine toll is a minute your final reckoning is a minute um seraphim is 45 but you just you just wait the extra 15 seconds to light up with all your big bursts and then you just you just one shot on somebody pretty much um so i'm not this sounds good but let's see how people kind of play it out in the future judgment of the light has been adjusted judgment causes the next five successful attacks against the target to heal the attacker seal of mercy reduced from two ranks to one seal of the crusader has been redesigned your auto attacks deal additional damage as holy damage of dusk and dawn has been redesigned when you cast three holy power generating abilities you gain blessing of dawn when you consume blessing of dawn you gain you gain blessing of dusk blessing of dawn has been redesigned your next holy power spreading ability deals 20 percent additional damage and this effect stacks interesting so when you cast three holy power generating abilities um so like a crusader strike um a blade of justice a crusader strike you get blessing of dawn and that stacks so you can, you can, you can, you can cast another three holy power generating abilities and get another stack of 20 percent increased damage on your next holy power spending ability so how many times it stacks i'm not too sure but this could be huge um so i believe i believe um hmm i would the I, I i do like this i do like this a lot uh depending on how many times it stacks um which i i believe might might be not too many because i can i can see this modifier being a problem if it if it has insane stack numbers um but besides that i do i do like this change a lot um blessing of dusk has been redesigned damage taken reduced by five percent for 10 seconds okay uh new talent fading light blessing of dawn increases damage and healing of your next war um holy power spending ability by an additional 10 percent and blessing of dusk causes your holy power generating abilities to also grant an absorb absorb shield for 20 percent of the damage and healing or healing dealt okay i like this uh quite a bit um, increasing the, the damage and healing of your next holy power spending ability by an additional 10% and then enabling your holy power generating, generating abilities to also grant you a shield for a portion of the damage done I do like that quite a bit helping with, with this survivability yet again of the of the of the spec of red um, of paladin generally that sounds pretty good uh, seal of order has been redesigned Sp uh, blessing of dawn increases the damage wait been redesigned yep blessing of dawn increases the damage and healing of your next holy power spreading ability by an additional 10 percent blessing of dusk increases your armor by 10 percent and your holy power generating abilities cool down 10 percent faster i like that one um holy avenger sanctified wrath seraphim seal of reprisal aspiration of divinity hollow ground and seal of clarity have been removed from the talent tree seal of the temple has been removed from the talent tree and its effect built into crusader aura recompense can no longer critical strike uh crusader aura now additional additionally increases range of rebuke hammer of justice temple of verdict and crusader strike slash hammer of righteousness by three yards season warhorse duration increased to two seconds was one righteous protector is now a one rank talent granting three seconds of cooldown reduction divine shield now also prevents movement forces such as pushbacks from affecting you I, I, okay the divine steed now has been adjusted no longer on global cooldown and now last an additional second so they removed divine steed from the global cooldown this means that you can accidentally use both charges if you're not careful um so just be aware of that as well and also it lasts an additional second which is nice for your mobility moving on to holy aura mastery's retribution aura interaction has been redesigned now increases healing by 15 percent while retribution aura active is effect is active 
divine toll and divine resonance has been removed from the specialization tree. Sanctified wrath now occupies divine toll's previous location and added a connection between sanctified wrath and glimmer. I'm not gonna go over pro I don't think. Uh let's go over it just to just to you know not miss anything. Base armor and strength of conviction have moved to Paladin class tree. Uh was in protection class tree. Seal of Reprisal has moved to Protection Class Tree, was in Paladin Class Tree. Seal of Reprisal damage bonus increases to 20%. New Talent, Seal of Charity. When you cast a Word of Glory on, on anyone but yourself, you also heal yourself for 50% of the healing done. Resolute Defender is now a 2 rank talent, 1 out of 2 seconds, uh, 1 slash 2 seconds of cooldown reduction on Ardent Defender and Divine Steel face armor back to one rank and moved above the 20 point gate the strength in conviction has been moved back above the 20 point gate and is in a different location new talent in most light eye of tear deals 300 percent increased damage and now has 15 percent reduced cooldown uther's council moved above uh, moved below 20 point gate and now has a two rank talent replace improved lay on hands with Tyrion's devotion now all this is like french to me i don't i'm not too sure exactly if this is amazing for for prod or if it's not that great so please if you play a prop paladin leave a comment below let me know what you think of these changes if if they're good or bad and then moving on to red pacific divine protection is now granted when choosing retribution specialization that's really nice so you have divine protection baseline as ret um which is very very nice for your survivability so you have divine protection shield of vengeance and also your bubble to um as your defensive kit which is very very nice um uh addition to the core the core kit of ret uh retribution specialization uh, retribution specialization gains blessing of freedom as a starting talent new talent Swift Justice reduces the cooldown of Judgment by 2 seconds and Crusader Strike by 2 seconds. New Talent, Light of Justice reduces the cooldown of Blade of Justice by 2 seconds. New Talent, Improved Blade of Justice. Blade of Justice now has 2 charges. Pretty nice. Light Clarity, uh, Celerity, sorry. Flash of Light cast instantly. Its healing done is increased by 50% but now has a 6 second cooldown this is really nice this is really nice for red uh, i don't think the six second i don't think um the six second cooldown will matter too much um i think a lot of paladins will be will be picking at this now i actually don't have to spec into um i forgot what the 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 talent is where um as you i think as you spend holy power you get like a a, a stack of a buff that allows you to get reduce cast time on your flash of light um so i think this will be amazing addition to ret um hybrid package this is amazing um new talent guided prayer when your health is brought below 25 percent you instantly cast a free word of glory at 100 percent effectiveness on yourself cannot occur more than once every 60 seconds i don't know about this one i don't I, i'm not too sure if this will see too much play um it's a it's a free a free wog every minute doesn't sound that great to be honest unbound freedom blessing of freedom increases speed by um 30 percent and you gain blessing of freedom when cast on a, a friendly target so they've moved they've changed unbound freedom from being a pvp talent to an actual talent on your tree i'm not too sure how i feel about that um having the option in talents could be good but um and i guess it opens up a spot in your pvp talent for something else other than unbound freedom because honestly as a ret if you're playing a melee cleave or something where your your partner does require some help on mobility it feels like if you if you like you have to give them freedom and then for yourself you're kind of just left in the mud so maybe this is nice to add by default into your not default because you have to spec into it but it, having in your talent tree and then having your pvp talents open up to something else could be good righteous cause 
Templar's Verdict, Final Verdict, and Justica's Vengeance uh, have a 25 chance that we set the cooldown on Blade of Justice. Uh, Jurisdiction, Final Verdict, and Blade of Justice deal 10% increased damage. The range of Final Verdict and Blade of Justice is increased to 20 yards. That sounds very nice. Um, I don't think any red will pass this up. Having a nice increase on range to your um, one of your main Holy Power generating and spending abilities seems pretty good. Um, judgment on Justice. Judgment deals 10% increased damage, increases your movement speed by 10% for 5 seconds, and slows enemies by 30% for 15 seconds now this gives me um this gives me the same vibe of um the old long arm of the law if you play red paladin before um you would have i think a 40 or 45 percent increased movement speed when you judge somebody um who's a minimum distance away um so this kind of it's a bit it's a bit worse as it's, you only get a 10 percent movement speed buff um but it does add a slow to them as well and the slow sounds it's, it's pretty long it's 15 seconds so sounds pretty good and also your judgment d is dealing more damage as well so why not zealot's uh fervor auto attack speed increased by 20 percent um improved judgment judgment now has two charges sounds pretty good and especially combined with this talent that we just read um Boundless Judgment. Judgment. Judgment generates an additional one Holy Power. Teaching of the Light. Not fully human, more years to come. Great. Uh, Inquisitor's Ire. Every three seconds, gain 5% increased damage to your to your Divine Storm, stacking up to 10 times. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think this will see much, much play. Divine Storm doesn't hit that hard right now. It could with, with, with this as it's getting, it's getting... 50% increased damage once fully stacked, but you have to wait for the stacks to get to max to maximum stacks And then you have to be in range of your target to actually divine storm them. I don't think it's it, it'll be it'll be too worse um, Blade of vengeance blade of justice now hits nearby enemies with damage deals reduced damage beyond five targets so just enabling your blade of justice to cleave um, this could help out PV PVE a lot um, for rep paladins, we'll see. New talent, Crusading Strike. Crusader Strike replaces your auto attacks. This is interesting. Um, blessed Hammers throws a Blessed Hammer that spirals outward, dealing holy damage to enemies during one holy power and it replaces Crusader Strike. Heart of the Crusader. Crusader Strike and auto attacks deal 10% increased damage and have a 10% increased critical strike chance. Blessed Champion, Crusader Strike, na uh, hits an additional 2 targets for 85% of the damage, has 2 ranks. Divine Hammer, Divine Hammer spin around you, damaging enemies within 8 yards for holy damage only, um, over 9 seconds, sorry. Generates 1 holy power, replaces Consecration. So this sounds like the current spell that Pop Hardens have, where they have the spinning, spinning things around them, spinning shields. Um, I'm not, I'm not too sure how the, how good this this one will be to be honest. Um, I don't think too many reds will pick this up. Um, anyway, moving on. Adjustication critical strike chance increased by two percent. Hammer Wrath has a five percent increased critical strike chance and deals ten percent increased uh, increased critical strike damage. Um, could be, could be good. Could be good. Um, Aegis of Protection, Divine Protection reduces damage you take by an additional 10%, and Shield of Vengeance uh, protects you from 30% more damage. This is really good. This, I mean, who wouldn't want this? Your Divine Protection now is a 30% damage reduction, and your Shield of Vengeance absorbs 30% more damage. That is, that is probably a no-brainer for me, honestly. Um, Swift Retribution, Haste increased by 2%, Blade of Justice and Hammer of Wrath cooldown reduced by 1 second, um, Blades of Light, Crusader Strike, Judgment and Hammer of Wrath now deal Holy Strike damage, and if you don't know, Holy Strike damage is uh, where it deals both Holy and Physical damage. Um, 
high warlords, high lords judgment. Judgment causes targets to take increased damage from your next two holy power abilities to ranks. Holy Crusader, Blade of Justice, and Expurgation now deal holy strike damage. Um, Burning Crusade, Blade of Justice, and Blade of Justice and Expurgation now deal radiant damage. So, I believe radiant damage is radiant damage. No, I I believe they they inc they included as well as um holy strike damage. They in they included um another type of damage for paladins where it deals holy and fire damage. Uh, I'm not I I don't think radiant damage is 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 that. But please let me know and correct me if I'm wrong about that. Uh, penitence increases the damage of your periodic effects by fifteen percent two ranks. Hmm. This could be nice for um, your exorcism dot if exorcism is still in the tree and works how it does. Uh, commanding judgment. Judgment hits an additional two targets for 85% damage. Uh, two ranks. Divine auxiliary. Final reckoning and execution sentence generate uh, grant three holy power. Okay. Uh, seething flames. Wake of ashes now causes you to lash out two extra times for radiant damage deal significantly reduced damage on secondary targets physical presence not fully implemented yet neither is searing light uh, expectation has been updated your blade of justice causes the target to burn for 70 percent of the damage dealt that's very nice this used to this used to uh, re rely on a blade of justice crit to actually um, get this effect but now this is just baked into blade of justice which i like art of war has been updated your auto attacks and crusader strike have a 15% chance to reset the cooldown of blade of justice. Final verdict now has a 15% chance to reset the cooldown of hammer of wrath and make it usable regardless of the target's health was 10%. Avenging wrath might cooldown reduced by 60 seconds was 120. Crusader duration increased to 35 seconds was was a uh, 25. Uh, sanctified damage bonus reduced to 25 was a hundred percent consecrated blade sorry has been updated blade of justice has a 40 percent chance to cast consecration at the target's location replaces consecration vanguard's momentum has been updated hammer wrath has two extra charges deals 10 percent increased damage and on enemies below 20% health generates one additional holy power has two ranks wake of ice's cooldown reduced to 30 seconds was 45 nice one executioners will now also applies to final reckoning and truce wake now also causes wake of ashes to burn targets for additional ray damage over 10 seconds so a massive amount of, of red changes some new some new talent added some 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 taken away some buffed some nerfed a little bit honestly i i have to wait and see how the tree comes out looking um what it comes looking like and what how people play around with things and make it look until i make a decision on you know are these are these insane changes but i think from from what i've seen so far these changes are very very good for red power and um so far moving on to priest Fix an issue causing the root effect from Void Tendril to persist after the Void Tendril was killed. This is very nice. Uh, fix an issue causing Protective Light to trigger when casting Flash Shield on allies without binding heals talented. Disc. Fix an issue causing Divine Star and Halo Healing to not be increased from Shadow Covenant. Holy Divine Image now triggers off all Holy Ward casts instead of having a chance to trigger. Divine image duration inc uh, reduced to 9 seconds was 15. The divine image buff on priest now has a stack count uh, representing the number of active divine images. The divine image buff on priest has been added to the personal resource display. Light will healing increased by 40%. The cooldown of light well is now 2 minutes was 3. Light well now has is now instant cast was 0 0.5 seconds. Fix an issue with divine image causing some healing or damaging priest spells to not have a similar spell cast from the Naru. 
fixing issues causing spirit of of redemption with afterlife talented to not increase the range of some spells fix an issue that co uh, causing afterlife to not increase the range of any spells during spirit of redemption with spirit of the redeemer talented and afterlife and divine ascension now increase the radius of divine hymn cosmic ripple and symbol of hope moving on to shadow fix an issue causing void eruption to fire four metals instead of three of two fix an issue causing the echoing void debuff to be exclusive to one priest fix an issue causing insanity generation from shadowy apparitions to trigger on spawn instead of an apparition to lose damage and shaman fix an issue causing totemic project projection to sometimes fail to move totems uh, earth shield is no longer removed anytime the shaman or the shaman's target changes talents interesting elemental ghost wolf no longer removes shaman's maelstrom bar while active fix an issue causing fire and ice to not increase the overload damage of multiple spells fix an issue causing the causing primordial surge to incorrectly increase the damage of multiple overload spells uh but fix an issue causing ancestral awakening to double dip into healing reduction effects moving on to warlock summon soul keeper damage increased by a hundred percent summon soul keeper can no longer be used uh, if you have a soul keeper already active inquisitor's gaze damage increased by 270 percent gorfiend's resolve has been removed from the class tree desperate pact has been removed from the class tree greater banish has been removed from the class tree new talent um sargeri technique shadow ball drain soul and incinerate damage increased by eight slash fifteen percent five slash ten percent um sargeri technique has been added to the class tree in life's blood or in lifeblood's all location new talent uh Sokathar's guile agony wild imp Immolate damage increased by 8 slash 15, 10 slash 20, and 10 slash 20. Sokathor's Guile has been added to the class tree in a cured vitality's old location. Lifeblood has been moved to Nightmare's previous location. A cured vitality has been moved to Desperate Pack's previous location. Nightmare has been moved to Gorfine Resolve's previous location and now is a one rank talent. New talent horrify your fear causes the target to tremble in place instead of fleeing in fear horrifying has now been added to the class tree as a choice against nightmare which is nice and then affliction dark glare has been redesigned summons a dark glare from the twisting nether that extends the duration of your damage over time effects on all enemies by eight seconds Dark Glare will serve you for 20 seconds, blasting its target for shadow damage, increased by 25% for every damage over time effect you have active on their current target. Xavian Techniques has been removed from the Affliction Tree and, now, and is now baseline. Harvester of Souls has been removed from the Affliction Talent Tree. Wrath in Agony is has been removed, has been moved, sorry, uh, to row 3 of the Affliction Talent Tree and is now a 1 rank talent. Dark uh, virtu uh, virtuous Virtuosity increases Shadow Bolt Drain Soul damage by 15 slash 30%. Dark Virtuosity has been added to the fourth row. Kindled Malice increases ma uh, Malefic Rapture and Cedar Crafting damage by 8 slash 15%. Kindled Malice has been added to the fourth row, which is, uh, I would say, pretty pretty good for Affliction. Um, it has been kind of struggling with a bit of finishing people off so hopefully with probably this this one mainly um will part kind of help with that but we'll have to see and demonology reign of tyranny now increases the damage of a demonic tyrant by 50 percent in addition to its original effect that is that is big actually new talent uh invisible hatred when your primary fell god's lady strike damage damages only one target its damage is increased by 120 percent your primary fell god deals physical damage after auto attacking the same enemy three consecutive times interesting immutable hatred 
has been added to the demology specialization tree as a choice against guillotine um umbral blaze hand of gudan has eight slash 15 percent chance to burn its target for additional shadow flame damage every two seconds for six seconds umbral blaze has been added to the demology spe uh, spectry in hounds in hounds of war's previous location hounds of war has been removed from the demo tree uh spec of uh pact of the imp mother has now has a eight slash 15 percent chance was five slash ten to cast hand of gudan a second time guillotine damage increased by 200 percent guillotine now lasts six seconds was eight stolen power now triggers after 75 applications was 100. so the notable one that i'm seeing here is the the, the tyrant buff um so now tyrant is looking to be very scary um in this next patch of 10.0.7 so you guys might want to watch out for tyrants once once this patch actually launches destruction burn to ashes now stacks up to six times and mayhem is now tracked under the personal resource now moving on to player versus player reverse magic p talent now triggers the backlash effect of dispelled debuffs i like this so much now it actually punishes dh's for actually dispelling certain buffs um so now they get hit by the ua backlash damage they get hit by the vt uh three second fear and they'll get hit uh with the knock slash damage of the boomkin dot dispel as well which is fantastic evoker preservation rewind healing is now increased by a hundred percent while in arena combat with five or less allied or five wait uh sorry i'll read that again rewind healing is now increased by a hundred percent while in arena combat with five or less allied players okay i do like this i've i've kind of heard that rewind rewind feels like it doesn't heal um a lot so this could be a very nice a very nice um buff to the cooldown to actually help it feel um feel like it's, it's an actual button so no i can't complain for that one and then monk healing sphere pvp talent spell visual has been updated to be more noticeable and with that we've reached the end of this very very meaty lump of changes there's been so much to absorb honestly i don't remember everything um i, I honestly but i do the the noteworthy worthy um part of this would have to be the red paladin changes i'm liking what i'm seeing i think they are headed in the right direction when it comes to how this class needs to be redesigned a little bit um so i'm liking the things that they're doing um in general i think they're moving in the right direction with how they're how they're changing classes what they're removing what they're introducing what they're buffing what they're nerfing i feel like they have a better idea of what's going on in the game they're listening and they're applying these changes so honestly kudos to blizzard i really hope that they continue this streak it seems like um it was a very rough start to the season uh personally but it, it could it could end very very well with the changes um persisting as they as they are now but thank you for watching and staying with me for this long if you did you know big shout out to you um honestly if you did enjoy this let me know leave a comment in the in the in the under the video sorry and i'll see you in the next one take care